Disney making changes, adding just now these new signs around the lagoon where a two-year-old was killed earlier this week by an alligator. We're also learning that the body of Lane Graves, seen right here, was released to the family. Arrangements now underway to bring him home to Nebraska. Let's get right to CNN's Martin Savage. Martin, there were no swimming signs at the beach before. What are the signs going to say now? Uh, hello, Jim. Yeah, let me read exactly what is on these new signs that are going up, not just at the Grand Floridian, but at all the other properties that are on that lakefront there. They read, quote, danger, alligators and snakes in the area. Stay away from the water. Do not feed the wildlife. Now, in addition to the signs that are going up, it also appears in the pictures we've seen that work crews are putting these kind of wood posts uh, spaced out all along the waterfront, again, not just at the Grand Floridian, and that they are stringing ropes in between. We're being told now by Disney that these steps are actually temporary measures while they still work on what the more permanent fix is going to be. They also say going beyond this, they're training their employees more about alligators, and they also will be educating their guests more about alligators. Interesting to point out that the fencing is there to prevent the people from going into the water. Uh, not the alligator. So, you know, that raises the question, could be there fencing or netting in the future that might stop alligators? Um, experts have different opinions on whether that is really effective. But one thing is clear, if you look at YouTube, no shortage of guest videos from Disney that show them interacting. I should point out, though, that the tragedy that happened is extremely rare. There have been two alligator fatalities in the entire state in the last year. And this is the first ever at Disney World. The only other attack was back in 1986 when a person was bitten. That person survived.